Welcome to DBC Diaries, episode 50. Today, you're gonna to see returning patient Greg. He came to us last year to help fix his back and also his prostate. And pleased to report, it really shrunk his prostate. He's doing really well there, helped his back quite a bit. And in this video, you'll see what the process is like being a patient at Dream Body Clinic. And you'll get to hear from Greg and his testimony as to how the stem cells helped him. This morning I picked up Gregory and this hotel. After his appointment at the clinic, I take him to the partner lab for x-ray. DBC Diaries day one. So today Greg's gonna arrive at the airport and he knows where to go, he's been here before, but uh, he's gonna go in out of baggage claim through the airport and out the main doors where he's gonna see our driver holding a sign with his name on it. Driver's gonna take him to his hotel where he can then rest and relax the rest of the day. DBC Diaries Day 2. Day 2 means you're going to come in fasted because we're going to start with blood work. That means no food from midnight the night before, water only in the morning. And for heart treatments, we have to do some extra scans. And that's what Greg's doing. So we start with an x-ray of the thorax and then we do an echocardiogram and an EKG with our cardiologist. Really great cardiologists. I know this firsthand because they fixed my heart a few months back from a genetic issue, do great work, and they have all the newest equipment so that we can get the most accurate results possible. And when that's done, we then get the patient back to their hotel so they can enjoy the rest of the day. I've been taking Gregory's blood pressure and everything looks great. He's all set for his medical consultation with the internist. DBC Diaries Day 3. Today is consultation. Now for heart treatments or lung treatments, it's a bit different than a standard treatment because we have a lot more scans. We have to be very careful with these types of treatments because if the heart is compromised, if there's any pericarditis, meaning too much fluid around the heart, that might mean it's not safe to do an IV. So we need to be very careful. Our internist is extremely skilled, Dr. Juan Martin. He, we call him the Dr. House of Mexico. He just, he can find anything. He's so good at doing analysis. Typically spends about an hour with heart or lung patients going over their results. So he's gonna explain everything, sometimes adjust meds for patients, get them all dialed in. And then he gives the all clear if they're good for treatment or and every once in a while, not very often fortunately, he has to tell people they might not be a good candidate. But this is when we know and we take this so seriously because safety first, do no harm is rule number one. We have to be very safe with heart and lung treatments. When that's done, we get the patient back to their hotel so they can rest up for treatment the next day. Today, we have a quick consultation with the patient Gregory before the treatment. Yesterday, he was here with Dr. Juan Martin, he's the internist, and well, in that consultation, they check like the ultrasound from the heart, the EKG, and well, he do some recommendation and sometimes some adjustments on the medicines. DBC Diaries, day four. Today's treatment day. Greg's gonna come in, he's gonna just have any last questions answered by our head doctor. Then he'll get in for the IV. The heart treatment is so simple. It's an easy IV because when you do an IV, it goes straight to the heart. First place it goes, and we we're just seeing so much success with heart treatments. And now you're gonna hear from Greg, his uh, experience at the clinic, how we helped his prostate and back, and go from there. Welcome to DBC Diaries episode 50. I'm here with returning patient, Greg. Welcome back, Greg. 
Thanks, Josh. Thanks for coming back. Um, it's been a while since you've been here. Like, when were you here last? What did you uh, do? Uh, yeah. About three years ago in January. And at that point, I did uh, three treatments. It was the prostate, the lumbar, and uh, an IV of 100 million units. Got it. Yeah. How did that work out for you? The yeah. prostate, it, it shrank the prostate, so I was happy about that. Good. My back is pretty rough to begin with, so... You know, <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. Back's gonna be yeah. tough. It's where yeah, it's a damage. Yeah, but uh, this time it's uh, for the heart. Yeah, and um, should I explain a little more about? Yeah, that? Geez, I mean, you're kind so of. Well, fourteen months ago, I had open heart surgery. I had the aortic valve replacement with a tissue valve, and they did one bypass. And so, at this stage of the game, I'm healing really well. I want to boost the healing. I want to fix the trauma that I endured during the uh, surgery. Yeah. And uh, just the overall, you know, another shot, another slug of good. Good, good. Well, we'll get you feeling good here. We just finished your IV. We did the 300 million. Right. And good news too, just before I came down to film this with you, I was filming with another returning patient today. Oh. And, you know, his ejection fraction got all the way down to 18% at one time. It was so low, which wow. should be over 55 is like normal mm -hmm. and he's back uh, at about like over 60 percent now from last year doing the test. same treatment so that we're great consistently getting amazing results with our heart repair which has been really cool. oh well i'm really looking forward to uh, to that then for sure yeah because so, yeah. when you do the iv it goes straight to the heart for the right. place it goes right. so we don't have to go directly into the heart and, and the lungs and yeah, and yep. it gets to the lungs and about 70% or so gets stuck there for two to three hours. That's okay. why we do these big numbers so we can get more through to other organs. Nice. So it's going to help a lot more than just your heart. It's, mm. It might even help your back a bit. You know, we, <laughs> no, I'm serious. We've had a lot of people yeah. like get some even relief, even from just the IVs. There's a lot of muscles that support the back there. Right. And that's why we do the IV with the back treatments and mm -hmm. And yeah, it's a, it's a good combo of things. All right. <laughs> All right. We're cool. Anything else or no, it's good to go. go. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad to be back and, uh, I'll keep you posted on the, oh, yeah. uh, on the results. And as I go along here and I'll probably be back again for another, another slug in a couple of years. <laughs> All right. <Yeah. laughs> and how did, when, it, when they found out, were they doing like any, did they do like a CT, like calcium score or how did they kind of determine where you were? At? Well, here's what happened. I was, uh, I was coming down for coffee in the morning and I was dizzy and I was holding onto the counter. No, I didn't have a heart attack, but I was all woozy and I thought, this is not right. I'm going to go see the doctor. And he put a stethoscope on me instantly. He said, you have a murmur oh. because my heartbeat wasn't thump, thump. It's a fish thing. Yeah. And, uh, so then one thing led to another angiogram, this, that, and, uh, uh, no surgery when they went in, got yeah. it. That's how I found out. But fortunately I didn't have a heart attack. I didn't yeah. have a stroke or anything like that. So. Oh, right, that's good. Yeah. Um, yeah, nice. people need to check their heart. I highly recommend yeah. if you're over 40, you should do what's called a CT, like calcium score. Right. This checks, it really shows you the buildup in the arteries. You know, that's what they call it, the calcium right. buildup, which is, that's really what gets people. All right. Clogs up the artery. Yeah. And most people never get this scan, so they never know. And then boom, that's when it's clogged. Right. It might be too late. So you can do that be preventative and stem cells are very preventative actually the IV okay. helps regenerate the interior lining of the arteries oh it does and that's what prevents the buildup of the calcium the problem is over time these interior walls of the arteries get beat up you eat too much sugar that's like right. sanding it down and then mm -hmm. he starts sticking and once it sticks it builds up because it's mm -hmm. like the ldl they call bad cholesterol right it's actually very good for you. <laughs> the problem is when that arterial wall starts breaking down, that's when it sticks and you have issues. So right. it's, uh, it's good to be preventative well, and preventative and, uh, you know, healing and all that and doing the whole thing here. You got to keep it yeah. going. Good. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for sharing. Hope yeah. this helps some people at home. If you've had any heart issues or are interested in stem cells, you can go to our website. 
check out www.dreambody.clinic. You can scroll down on the homepage. All the treatments are listed, prices, info, studies, videos like this with past patients to explain. And you can call us toll free anytime, free consultation at 888-704-3977. I'm Josh, happy to help. DBC Diaries Day 5. So today's the last day. Greg's gonna go home. This is departure day, wishing bon voyage and a great trip home. And if you'd like to learn more about stem cell therapies, please give us a call toll free at 888-704-3977. We do free consultations or check out our website at www.dreambody.clinic. Scroll down on the homepage, click on the links that you want. All the info's there, prices, studies, all of it's there. If you'd like to learn more about stem cells, get a hold of us. I'm Josh, happy to help. Yeah, I want to thank everybody at Dream Body Clinic for uh, everything they did for me. And uh, great staff, great everything, super professional. I'm very pleased. I'll see you next time. In a couple of two, three years, you get a little tune up. Okay? Okay. Here's my driver.